This week, it's the Shots Foundation uh, Community Awareness Week. And all this week, we're going to be showing you some examples of what goes on behind the scenes with All the Shot Town Football Club in partnership with the Shots Foundation and some of the fantastic work that goes on in the community. Today, we're going to look at the match day experience. and We're joined by Sir John Casey. And Sir John, you're chairman of the uh, Shots Foundation. Probably as a starting point, could you just explain the difference? So you have All the Shot Town Football Club, and then we have the Shots Foundation. How do those organisations work? Hello, Paul. Uh, so the Shots Foundation is the charitable arm of the football club, and it's our job and our role to represent the club in the local community and to offer our services to the local community, such as the after-school clubs, such as the holiday camps in half terms and the special occasions we hold, like the Vets Hub, uh, sight loss soccer and so on. So there's a lot of talk in the football industry about fan engagement and it's something all the shop town football club take very seriously. So today I'd like to talk specifically around the match day experience and some of the changes and improvements that have happened here at the football club. Okay so the match day experience here at the football club dates back about four or five years when the club generously gave us the opportunity, it's just behind you there Paul, to um, use the community stand. I think everybody connected to the football club knows now that it is the community stand and we offer the chance for community groups to come in and enjoy a game here at Aldershot. Uh, and we offer that facility to uh, local organisations, uh, football clubs themselves, uh, like uh, an underage group of, of some sort or another. We also offer it to, say, the young carers and some of our trustees as well are aware of families in the community who might not have been to a football game before. So we really love having the community stand. But going back to that four or five years ago, we realised that we needed to enhance what we offered there. So our next idea was to come up with the Fan Zone Marquee. And we love our Fan Zone Marquee. It's available every home game and it's very busy and very active in there. So people who come into the community stand naturally come down here to the fan zone marquee. And there's all sorts of things they can do. Inside there's a softball area so you can beat the goalie. There's table tennis going on. Sometimes there's face painting. This year Qualcomm have generously donated the mini pitch to us which has been a very big success this year. And uh, we thank them for that. And so uh, there's a vibrancy around here on match days. Players who are not playing, not in the match squad, they come down and they um, sign autographs as well. So that connectivity is there. Now, the match day experience here at Aldershot is not just solely the responsibility of the foundation. So what I'd say in addition to that is around the ground, uh, it's very friendly here. Um, there's an opportunity to perhaps go into one of the bars. My personal favourite is the outside bar. We've also got really good food here, burgers and so on. And of course, there's the mascot experience. Now the foundation doesn't run the mascot experience, but again, the connectivity there is if you're a supporter and you haven't been to a game before, or you are a regular supporter and you come to a game, what's on offer here is actually a good day out for you. Uh, obviously the football is integral to that and the quality of the play on the pitch, but actually in addition to that, it's also a good day out as well. So um, yeah, we're delighted with what we have here. So directly behind us, John, the match day yep. fan zone, which has become really popular in yep. recent months. For someone who hasn't been in or thinking of bringing their children along, what can they expect to find in there? OK, so when we go in there, there's a huge banner, which is a, a goal. It's got uh, holes in it so you can kick the ball against it. There's a softball there. It's great fun. It's like taking a penalty, but you can also have a goalkeeper there as well. We've got table tennis tables in there, which uh, people come and enjoy a game of ping pong. We've obviously got our mini pitch here as well. Sometimes we have other things in there, like we've displayed programs this year to give away. We have flags in there that we give to uh, supporters who can come up and um, obviously wave them around. We get a few special visitors We do. We? The, yeah. the players come down, particularly those not playing, yeah. and they come and sign autographs. And right. it's, it's great when they're down here because um, it's engaging. Now, this year, I want to thank RM Carpets because they've sponsored the Fan Zone this year. I'm coming back, but thank you, RM Carpets, for the sponsorship this year because without the support 
of our partners, we couldn't keep going as a foundation. And Thank just you. to be clear about the fan zone, there's no pre-booking, it's not a special ticket, it's open to any young supporter. Absolutely, you come in the turnstile yeah. here, you see us here, yeah. great, let's yeah. have a go. It's not just for people in the community stand, it's for everyone, but naturally the people from the community stand are the ones who drift down here. Here we have some of our young supporters taking part now on the mini pitch, fantastic, that's what it's all about. I want to talk particularly about the community stand. So yep. we're, we're filming this um, just ahead of the Rochdale fixture. Yep. And I believe we've got six different schools here today using the stand. Yes. So tell us a little bit more about specifically the community stand and how people can get involved in it. What happens? So the starting point for the community stand is if you would like to come in and take uh, the opportunity to have a ticket there, please write into us here at the foundation. You can either contact our lead officer, our excellent lead officer, Jamie, or you can email uh, admin at shotsfoundation.org, or certainly if you email into the football club, the information will get through to us. What we want to do is to make sure that people who come into the community stand enjoy the experience. And we use the community stand for a couple of other things. Firstly, we do the flag wavers before the game, the guard of honor, whatever you want to call it. So if you're in the community stand, inevitably we go to you and we say, would you like to be a flag waver as the players come onto the pitch? We also try and take it as an opportunity to get the crossbar challenge as well. Now, I haven't mentioned it so far, but the crossbar challenge is another integral part of the match day experience Fantastic here. host, I think you have for that. I understand <laughs> he's a very experienced communicator. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just saying it's such a wonderful part of our match day now. The anticipation from the crowd with the potential for somebody to fall over and make a fool of themselves yeah. is a joy to behold. And it's a really fun part of um, half time and the match day experience. Well, we've had a bit of fun with some of the mascots when uh, when there's been a bit of a crowd here <laughs> taking their penalty and then doing a little celebration in front of the away fans, yes, haven't we, yes, as well? And, uh, yeah, yeah, and it's been fun. <laughs> Even a bit, if it, yeah. it's been a bit naughty, but it's yeah. been fun. So. So, so finally, John, plans for the future? Because you, you seem to be Every month there seems to be something yeah. new. What so, would you like to see happen? Well, the first thing I'd like to say is we're very open-minded. If people want to uh, send us information about they think where we could improve, we will take it on board. There's no question about that. We're, we're always looking to add extra things that we can do to what we do down here or the match day experience. One thing that we've done this year that's been very successful, we've had some groups in who've done a mini tour of the ground before the game. Come quite early, but They've, they've had the mini tour and they've gone into the changing rooms before the players arrived and they've absolutely loved it. And that's something we would like to expand as well. So again, write into us. And if you've got a community group who wants to get involved and perhaps have that mini tour of the football ground, we can take that on board. So we'd like to expand it is what I'm saying. So. Thank you, Sir John. So all this week, it's the Shot Foundation Community Awareness Week. Tomorrow, we're going to be catching up with some walking footballers. So there is a, a, a walking football side, the older shots, and we'll be catching up with um, uh, the team there, some of the members, many of you who, whom are shots fans as well. So join us again tomorrow. Thank you, Paul.